limited as you were this spring, what do you feel that you were able to get out of it with everybody? Well, we got some young guys a lot of work. Um, you know, there was a lot of fre true freshmen that played just a touch last year. They got a ton of work out here. And if you notice, we didn't play Mo or, or Ritten or some of the other guys. Uh, played um, Billy Coggle very briefly. We tried to get some of the younger guys a lot of work. And, you know, this it, it seems weird to finish a scrimmage, a spring game in one hour, but we probably got 45 to 50 plays in. And normally you do these things and you play a game and you get the ones get 50, the twos get 50, and you're, you're out here for an hour and 45 minutes. It was tough. Um, and I just gave a shout out to our offensive line, man. They sucked it up all spring and, and um, they're tough dudes. Effort-wise, what did you see out of the guys this spring? You happy with what you saw? Yeah, I mean, I saw a lot of a lot of good things. You know, our, our young defensive line, you know, they got a ways to go. They got improved. But, you know, we had four of them not practicing most of the spring. Um, you know, we didn't play Mo, and, and then uh, Darius Reynolds is a little dinged up, and, and E. Joni coming off of surgery, and, and Kobe Ritten, we, you know, we know what he can do. So, you know, that was tough. But those young guys got a lot. Our linebackers, two young kids, and I, I shouldn't say Tyler Dressler. He started the last game of the year against William & Mary. But um, Phil O'Connor's come a long way there. Um, and then in the secondary, it was good to see, uh, you know, Roland Williams make some plays to transfer. Um, and then Noah Nicholson had a good spring. And then obviously Trent and, and Daniel, we know what they can do. And they, they got very limited snaps again today too. I, you know, this, this, this one hour thing out here was to just to get some of the young guys out and, 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 and hopefully get 40 snaps for most of them. How, how much different will you expect this all to look when you guys get started up again in August? Well, it better look dead. We're projecting, you know, uh, we're projecting with incoming guys, uh, any transfer guys. I mean, I'm projecting our roster to be at 87, and, and I hope we got 80. We'll have 87 healthy ones uh, showing up to August camp, 87, which would be a good number for us. How different do you anticipate that looking when you incorporate the veterans in with the youngsters who got this kind of experience? Well, I mean, it'll look a lot different. But, you know, when, when Moe's not out here, you know, when when Ritten's not out here, he, Joan, he, play, he was our third in last year and did a great job for us. And, uh, you know, it's it, it kind of looks kind of like maybe sloppy in some ways, you know, just not enough big plays. Uh, but we know what they can do. Even you know, we tried to lim you know limit what Daniel Jones do does out here this this spring. Same thing. Trent had to miss every Tuesday for class, so he was very limited. Um, you know, Tyreek Funderburk, I, and and I got to give him credit. I mean, he's out here with a bad hamstring, uh, and 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 he couldn't he could barely move. But we wanted to get something out of him, and we moved Davon Perry to wide out and. And he's done some good things, but he's coming off a hamstring injury also. He hadn't practiced for the last week and a half. Uh, really, today was the first time back out. So it's been, it's been, it's been a, a, a kind of a strange spring, as strange as I've ever been around. Why are you with the quarterbacks, Russ? Uh, you know, they both have had their good days and bad days. I think I said that the last time, too. I, I think they're both good enough to win football games for us. Um, you know, I didn't see a whole lot of mistakes out here. Uh, you know, the one, you know, Braxton threw the one interception, and we made the decision on that. We said if it was fourth down and we stopped them and the offense turned it over, you know, flipped it around, we were going to take the deep shot. And I think we told him to go ahead and throw that thing so we could, you know, simulate, you know, getting a stop and then sudden change and then throwing it. So, you know, I won't put that on him.